Well, this next story proves that real beauty lies within. This is Lizzie Velasquez. She was born with a rare genetic disorder and online trolls began calling her the world's ugliest woman. Can you believe it? Well, Lizzie, she's fighting back against those internet bullies and she joins us now. A very good morning to you, Lizzie. Big round of applause for Lizzie, everyone. Yeah. Lizzie. How are you going, Lizzie? I'm good. I'm really good. First of all, um, can you paint a, a picture for us on what it was like for you to discover, how, how you discovered that what these people were saying online about you? Um, it was an accident that I found this video. I was really just procrastinating doing homework and wanted to listen to music on YouTube and I saw a picture that looked kind of familiar. And so I clicked on it and it was unfortunately an eight second video labeling me the world's ugliest woman and over four million people had seen the video. Four million? What was it like? I mean, first of all, I mean, how did you feel and what was it like for your family and your friends when this all happened? Well, nobody knew that I had found it when I first saw it. Um, I unfortunately read all the comments because there were thousands of comments on this video and I read every single one and every time I read it and every time I saw when someone was telling me to kill myself it felt like they were putting their hand through the computer and physically mm. punching me. So, so who did it? Who was behind it? Did you, did you ever get to the bottom of it? Um, I don't know who did it but I do know when we tried taking it down he kept messaging me and saying I don't care whatever you do I don't care how many times you try I'm still gonna keep putting it up it's disgusting it's I mean, how do you um, how do you process that how do you move on from that in, in your daily life it was definitely a process I went through every emotion possible I was devastated I was angry I wanted to kind of sink down to their level but then I realized that if I just commented back I would be doing the same thing that they're doing and mm. they're just hiding behind a computer screen and being evil people and with the help of my family and friends I was able to kind of move past it and learn that the best way that I could show them that they weren't going to win is by making myself a better person. Mm. At what point did you decide to do that? I mean, because you've done some amazing things since. I mean, one of them is you're a motivational speaker and so many thousands of people out there now look up to you. I actually didn't even know motivational speaking was a career or a thing. At the time in high school when I found the video, I had my heart set on going to college for computer engineering. Um, I have such a passion for them, but an assistant principal asked me to tell my story to 400 ninth graders and I reluctantly agreed and after I did it I just had this overwhelming feeling of this is what I'm meant to do for the rest of my life. Do you know when we spoke um, before this interview started a little bit um, a little few minutes ago I said that I'd be flirting with you outrageously during this segment <laughs> um, but how do you actually how do you actually get the courage to say stuff you bullies I'm gonna get up there and I'm going to be a motivational speaker. I'm going to take my life in a different direction. I'm not going to let that get me down. How do you actually do that? I owe pretty much all of that to the way that I was raised. It's growing up being positive and kind of looking to the good side of things. My parents always taught us that and it's one of those things where it's something that you do what you know. And in my case, I'm very blessed and lucky to have the parents that I do have because they never were negative with me. They never said I can't do something. They always told me that once I put my mind to something, if I work hard, I can do it. And growing up with that attitude, it's luckily been a huge benefit for motivational speaking. Mm. So, yeah. You're now this incredible poster girl, I guess you could say, for a lot of people out there who are being bullied. Uh, what would you say to them, especially if they're, they're meeting you for the first time this morning on our show? I think if you're being bullied or if you're self-conscious or if you're doubting yourself or if you just kind of have a bad feeling about your life, just know that your, your life is in your hands and you're the one who's going to decide to make it better, not the people who are bullying you or being negative mm. to you. You have the power to change that. And once I realized that my life is in my hands and if I decide to make it better everything else is going to kind of fall into place and I'm proof that it happens I mean 
I was called the world's ugliest woman and I was told to just do the world a favor and put a gun to my head, but I didn't let that stop me. And if you're going through something like that, know that you're the deciding factor. You are what defines yourself. You can make a change and make your life better. Wow. Round of applause for Lizzie and what Lizzie yes. just said then. Lizzie, you're wonderful. Wonderful to have you on. You know, like, we, you. we talk about all this stuff on the internet. And there's, there's, you know, there's, and we've talked about it already this morning, some of the negative stuff that happens, and obviously that's incredibly negative. Um, but there's also positive things. You are a, an example of, of what is great and wonderful and positive about the internet. Thank you. Um, I never thought that I would become kind of this poster child for anti-bullying and that your life kind of gets better, but it's a huge honor. I don't take anything that's kind of come my way um, for granted because I'm so thankful for not only like the support and the positivity, but I'm thankful that I kind of had that rough time in my life because it's what made me stronger. And it's what's my driving force to keep going. Okay, one final thing. Um, there'll be kids out there listening to you, to you right now, um, parents and people of all ages, in mm -hmm. fact. Um, for those people that, that labeled you those horrible things, what do you say directly to them this morning? For all the people who told me to kill myself and told me all these awful things, I respect your opinion. I forgive you for everything you told me. I will continue to kind of keep you in my thoughts and hope that whatever is hurting in your life, that it heals and that you don't feel the need to put down other people. But I thank you for helping me become this strong woman because without them, I would be weak. They're what keeps me going. So. In the end, I thank them, and I hope they continue to see where the next road takes me. Wow. Well, you are a beautiful person, um, and, and we're, we're honored to have you on our mm. show this morning, Lizzie. Thank you so much for being thank with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lizzie. Round of applause thank for you. Lizzie again. Yeah, really. Everyone's very emotional about this morning. Well done, Lizzie. Thank you so much. And if you're in Australia sometime soon, you come and say good day to us, all right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> all right. Thank you for that. <laughs> there you go. That's a good story. That's a great story. A How does one message? woman have so much courage mm. to get over that? I mean, they're really insulting Awful. things she was reading. But she's turned it all positive yeah. and it's a positive and she message. And she's got respect for the people that said it in the first place. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Very Great stuff.